everyone might not be able to afford a USB rubber ducky. So today in this video, we are going to learn how to create your own USB rubber ducky within just 200 rupees. Hello everyone, I'm Ani Ben Roy, an ethical hacker and the founder and CEO of TechGen Cyber Solution Private Limited. So guys, other than further ado, let's get started. So what is USB rubber ducky? USB rubber ducky is also known as a bad USB. It's look basically similar to a pen drive, but the functioning is totally different. Where we use pen drive to store our data and USB rubber ducky is used to hack into someone's computer or inject any kind of virus, payload or stealing password and it can do many more things. And the risk with USB rubber ducky is that no antivirus can detect it whatsoever because it's portrayed itself as a HID device uh, HID device means human interface device what, and what are the human interface device? It's like human interface devices are keyboard, mouse. So these are human interface device which we use to give commands and give orders to computer and computer trusts these devices very well. So no antivirus basically scans any type of keyboard whenever you plug in a keyboard or a mouse and that is how USB rubber ducky takes the advantage of that. So it's pretty scary, right? Actually it is. Big organizations also get hacked by this technique or this method. For example, an employee of a company found a pen drive lying outside her office uh, during lunch break and she took it while thinking that she will format it and use it herself and after the lunch break she plugged it in inside her computer and that's all. It will automatically perform inject keystroke inside that computer and uh, run a backdoor, install a backdoor or it can do many type of things. And recently, like few months back, I guess, a huge organization got hacked just by this technique only. So it's pretty dangerous for any organization. And it's important that you don't plug any random USBs in your computer. Now in the market, rubber duckies are available to buy, but it's quite costly. It's around $50, I guess, and which is in Indian currency, it's 3,500 rupees. So it's quite costly and many people can't afford it. So I have an alternative to make your own USB rubber ducky with this board which is DigiSpark. It will cost you around 200 rupees. Now let's get into your computer and see how it works. Now before that warning, hacking is illegal. Only hack into your own virtual environment and your own system and wherever you have the written consent to hack into. And by the way, I also posted a tweet in my Twitter account where I asked that should I make a free ethical hacking course for everyone or not. So make sure to go to my Twitter profile and vote over there. And if I get a good response, then I'll make a free ethical hacking course for you guys. So now we are in our computer system. And uh, as I told you, USB rubber duckies are available in the market. So this is the one USB rubber ducky. And uh, it's worth $40 or $49, uh, like $50 around. And uh, so if you want, you can buy it. But I think it's quite expensive for everyone. So we'll create our own rubber ducky. So for that, you need a board like this. So let me show you from where you can buy it. You can go to my website, anirbanroy.co.in slash shop. And over here, you'll get this board over here. You can click on it. And uh, now, and, and as you can see, it's 199 rupees. So from here, now you can select your country and everything. Then you can order it. Now, once you have your board, then we're ready to start. Now the first thing which we need to install is a driver so that uh, our computer system can recognize this board and uh, for that I'll give you this link over here. From here you need to download this one. Okay, I already have downloaded. Once you download it, then just extract it. Now from here you can install it uh, like 64-bit or 32-bit whatever according to your system. Then after that we need to download Arduino. Arduino is a software. Just go to Google and search for Arduino. Go to software over here. And uh, then from here, you can download this uh, for Windows, Mac OS, or uh, other Linux system. So I already have this also over here. Now we'll just click over here and we'll start this. Okay, let's wait for it to start. So let's just create a new one, close this. Okay, so it has started. Firstly, uh, you need to do a few settings over here. And uh, so let me open that lock for you. 
if you want you can go to this link and uh, read all about it uh, what setting you need to do and everything so let's just come over here go to files and go to preferences over here you need to add this line okay i'll give everything in my description so check the description out over here you need to just copy paste it or you can just copy from this blog here and just copy it and uh, paste it over here okay so select all and paste it okay that's it then select ok now you need to go to tools and uh, go to boards and go to board manager from here once it get updated you need to search tg spark tg spark and uh, you need to install this one tg uh, tg stump abr boards i already installed it so okay now we are ready to go so that's all with the settings and everything okay now as you can see it's showing over here that you need to select the board so from here you just can select the board over here so let's select board okay now go over here and uh, select it as default now once you've done this all the setup has been completed now we're ready to go now just come here and go to google and search for you know, tg spark robert ducky okay so over here you get this link i'll uh, provide you with that it has all the type of scripts and payload so we'll just uh, select this one it's a wallpaper changer like desktop screen changer so from here i'll just copy it everything copy and then i'll just select all and paste it over here okay now we need to verify it okay so we have to save it first uh, let's save it anything wallpaper okay save okay so now it's very fine let's wait for it so the verification has been completed and if you have any error with the codes it's gonna show you over here so once it's done now now from here we'll upload this script in this board so just click it over here and it will give you time for 60 seconds within 60 seconds you have to plug this in so i'll just plug it in in my system and once it get completed we'll just plug it out let's wait for it to complete so i just right now i plugged it out and over here you can see uh thank you it's done means successfully uploaded so done uploading okay now we can close this up now let's plug this board in my computer and see what it does so i just plugged it in let's wait for it okay so if you see it has started it's giving some commands automatically see i'm not doing anything over here let's see successfully okay so my wallpaper has been changed so <laughs> it's so easy right and uh, now i also want to show you something that uh so okay so these are the scripts over here whichever i showed you a few moments back but there are also some scripts which are like um uh, usb robert ducky payload and uh, all these scripts are for usb but ducky only you can't use all these scripts over here we are just converting the scripts to run according to this board so i'm just showing you a very good uh, tool so let's just copy your code uh, let's select uh, this hot dog wallpaper and uh, so this is our ducky code so from here we just copied it now we, i'll go to this website i'll uh, provide you the link now over here i'll paste this ducky script and select convert and it's going to convert us to a dji board uh, script and then you can copy it and perform the same thing again so as you saw it's this easy to inject keystroke inside a computer and make it perform according to the hacker it's pretty scary right yes actually it is and this thing can also be placed inside a keyboard or inside a mouse and 
from outside you can't see it you can't notice it right so that is why hardware analysis is also very important just like the software and you also don't randomly plug in any usb or any other devices to your computer if you want to be safe so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel subscribe for more videos like this